Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of The Movie Gauge. As always, I'm your host Austin Gage and this week we're going to be talking about Captain America. Captain America is Marvel's newest film in what is supposed to be a lineup of about 20 new films in the next 10 years. Captain America is its most recent film and it stars as the title character Chris Evans. Joining Chris Evans is some of his returning cast uh, such as Samuel L. Jackson playing Nick Fury and Scarlett Johansson playing the Black Widow. All of these actors and actresses do a great job at reprising their roles. Chris Evans, who plays Captain America, does a great job at being the morally right and always uplifting soldier from the 1940s. Scarlett Johansson does a great job at playing the absolutely fierce Black Widow, who kicks butt and takes names and does whatever is asked of her from S.H.I.E.L.D. in order to accomplish America's goals. In this film you see Nick Fury more than you have in any other Marvel film before. You get to know a lot more about his character, where he comes from, and where he's going to go in the future. In the previous Captain America film, Captain America takes place in the 1940s. It is his origin story. It tells how he came to be. But in this film, which makes it entirely new, is that he's placed in a modern setting. Uh, he's in our time period with the internet and music and television and uh, all these things that he's not used to. And so that provides for a lot of laughs. Um, but at the same time, uh, the time change really shocks him because to him, America was this uh, morally true and always right uh, force that he was fighting for. And now he's faced with the reality that America sometimes gets its hands dirty in order to accomplish what it needs. And this really strikes him and uh, leaves him morally confused as to who he really wants to serve, whether he wants to continue to serve this country or kind of do his own thing. His opponent in this film is the other title character, the Winter Soldier. Uh, the Winter Soldier pretty much has all of the abilities that Captain America does. He's super fast, he's super strong, and in a fist fight, uh, not only can he match Captain America, but oftentimes he finds himself winning. And that is really terrifying um, as the audience when you're rooting for the superhero. I think one of the issues that I had with the previous Captain America film is that Captain America kind of seemed invincible. People were shooting lasers at him and he was just driving his motorcycle through all of that. Um, in this film, the directors do a really great job of really making it feel like Captain America is in trouble. And uh, he may not be able to do this alone. All of the choreography for the action in this film is done really well. I mean, fist for fist, you can hear it, you can see it, and it really adds to the tension of the film, and it happens a lot. There is more action in this film than I think there has been in any other Marvel film before, um, and that's really entertaining to watch. Uh, the, they've gotten past the character development of how Captain America came to be. Now he is. He is Captain America. He's the soldier that we all know, and so we just get to watch him at his peak, and it's really, really entertaining. The acting is great, the comedy is there, but one thing that I really enjoy about this film is that it also brings political tension and drama to the forefront. As Captain America is facing these issues as to what is right, what can a country do to protect itself, uh, the audience should also be asking itself the same thing. Um, I think they do a great job of uh, inserting these ideas into the film without laying it on too heavy. Um, it's still very, very entertaining, but the fact that drama is even had in an action Marvel flick is an incredible feat. Uh, typically, they go for just straight entertainment, and the fact that this film also makes you think a little bit um, is really, really incredible. This is a very short review, but I just want to say that I really, really love this film. I think it's probably the best Marvel film, um, not only since the Avengers. I'm going to count that out because it's all of the action heroes together, so that is obviously going to be very entertaining, but I think it's the best one since the original Iron Man, and it's been a while since Marvel has created something of this caliber. I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10, which is one of the highest reviews I've ever given. Um, it is truly entertaining and just a lot of fun to watch. I highly recommend it to anyone who is looking for a movie to go see this week or in the next couple months as it's going to stay in theaters because I imagine it's going to make a lot of money. I'm really excited to see what Marvel has in store for the next couple of years if Captain America The Winter Soldier can be any indicator of the kind of caliber of stuff that they're going to be creating. I want to thank you guys for watching so much. It means a lot. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I'll be releasing videos hopefully weekly from now on. And uh, thank you guys so much. I love you all. Bye.